Hi, my name's Lydia Lynette. I'm an iconographer, and Father John has asked me to do his three videos this week while he's recovering. I'm going to talk about icons. Today, I'm going to talk about the icon corner. On Wednesday, I'm going to talk about the three essential icons, and on Friday, I'll talk about how to pray with icons. So the first thing you need for an icon corner is a blank wall or a corner and some sort of table or shelf. I'm in my studio and I'm using a very dirty table. So a principle of the icon corner is that we beautify it and it's called the beautiful corner in some cultures. So we put down a nice cloth. Then I have to have some way to put my icon my icons in the corner or the so I'm using stands, since this is a temporary icon corner. And I have three handwritten icons written by a woman named Christina Sadley for an icon exhibition I put together. I have Christ in the center. Since Christ is the head of the church and the head of the household, here's what they have told us, and here is a guardian angel. Now, icon corners were the earliest when all churches met in houses every Christian house had an icon corner, and that's where the icon corner comes from. The next thing you need is a candle because Christ is the light of the world. I have a little trick. I collect candles after Pascha, and I use them throughout the year as much as I can. Then the second thing that you typically would have in an icon corner is incense, which is a little bit messy, but we have incense because like our prayers, they arise to God, and it reminds us of that. And so what you need is some charcoal briquettes, some tongs so you don't burn yourself, some matches, and some incense. Then you need some sort of holder for your incense, and I have this holder that I got at a Greek Orthodox monastery in Long Island. The last thing that you're going to use for an icon corner are, is a prayer book. You can eat whatever type of prayers you like, but you need one with morning and evening prayers and maybe an acathus or something like that. Now I'm going to show you the icon corner that's in my studio. Here's the icon corner or wall that I use for my studio. As you can see, I have my pigments here. And above it, I have Christ in the center, is Logos Emmanuel. Then I have a very famous iconographer saint and an icon that I did several years ago. I have my candles. I have my incense holder. I have a paper icon of St. Lydia. That's my name saint. And I have a St. Nicholas there. I have a specific prayer book I use for this, for icon writers. And I actually keep most of my supplies in this drawer, incense candles and extra um, junk that I use for the icon corner. Finally, this is our home icon corner. As you can see, uh, we have a little shelf. We have the three essential icons and some other icons that I painted. I have a paper icon of St. Matrona and a clay one that a friend gave me from Israel. I have a prayer book. I have an interesting thing that I use for my candle, actually. I, I like a lot. I buy these little beeswax candles and then I have this uh, contraption that you can put on it and when the candle's lit, it, it uh, makes the incense smolder. But I keep my all my supplies in that box, and then I also have songs that we sing. So that's my family icon corner. On Wednesday, we're going to talk about the three essential icons, what they are, what they mean, and then on Friday, we'll talk about praying with icons. Thanks for watching.